guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the five cards that you need in your wallet as a retirement traveler. Yeah, we're gonna start out by giving you the five that we think are the most beneficial. And you do need five. We do want to, uh, you know, say that up front is that if you're traveling and you're traveling around the world, you do not want to be leaving the U.S. with just one or two cards. That is a recipe for disaster because you could lose some of those cards along the way. Uh, it has happened to us several times over the years <laughs> where we have been down one or two cards at the same time and waiting for a replacement to get to you when you are halfway across the world can be a long time. Most of the time you have to wait until you get back home. So five is not overkill. You're going to want to have five. And these are the best five. Uh, so we're going to start with while you're in the U.S. Maybe you're just traveling around the U.S. or you're preparing to go overseas or you are, you know, just waiting till you're going to do some full-time travel. These are cards that you want to start with. First ones you should get even before you retire because these are where you can start building those points and amassing points to get a lot of free travel down the road. So the best one is going to be the Amex Gold. This is probably our top card right now. And the reason for that is we all, when we live in the U.S., we do two things. We buy groceries every month and we eat out every month. And this is the best card for that because the Amex Gold uh, gets you four times Amex points on groceries and four times Amex points on eating out, which is simply a phenomenal uh, point total. Well, the fact of the matter is, is you're going to use it for those two things regardless if it would you're you're at home in the u.s you're going to go out to eat and you've got to get food to cook at home so uh it's it's a no-brainer really because you just pay those off and we always recommend to people make sure that when you're going to be using you know credit cards for your travel and amassing points and things like that make sure you're paying those off every month and not carrying a balance and not paying interest because this just doesn't make any sense if you're going to be paying extra money like that so make sure you're paying them off every month so that this all the math all makes sense at the end of the day exactly uh, so the amex gold and all of these cards actually do come with a welcome offer which is a bonus point total you'll get when signing up for the card and then completing an initial spend so at the time of this taping, that welcome offer was 60,000 additional Amex points. To see what it is right now for you, click through uh, on the link. We do have links to all these cards in the description. If you click that link, you can see what the current welcome offer is for you. And that'll just tell you how many points you're going to be able to amass. For us, it was pretty simple math. We spent about $1,500 a month when we lived in Atlanta. Uh, eating out and with groceries that was basically good for 6,000 Amex points a month if we put that all on that card 72,000 points a year plus the welcome offer that's 132,000 points just for basically switching your groceries to Amex and 132,000 points we just bought four business class airline tickets in Asia for the two of us for about 150,000 points. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the <laughs> value could be for you if you amass these points before you go. Yeah, that's the thing is, is once you've got them piled up like that, you know, don't get nervous that they're just sitting there. This is, again, these are for before you leave for your full-time travel and obviously to use throughout your full-time travel, but these, that's why this one is so important to the Amex Gold is you can amass a lot of points before you leave for things that you're going to do anyway. So, you know, this isn't like you're buying a bunch of frivolous stuff because you have to get rid of it anyways if you're going to go full-time travel. But this is to buy the things that you have to buy every month anyways and you're getting a bunch of extra points for doing it. Yeah, so the second one that we want to encourage people to get right off the bat is going to be the IHG Premier. And if you know anything about this channel, we talk about this card all the time because it's simply a no-brainer card. It is a $95 annual fee card. But with that, you do get a free night uh, certificate good for any IHG hotel up to 40,000 points. That's a $200 value. So right there, if you're gonna stay at any hotel throughout the year, 
uh, one time, one night, this car will more than pay for itself because the free night, <laughs> it's hard to find a hotel in the U.S. anymore for less than $95. We've been looking upon our return and the hotels are like uh, $300 a night, most cities. Like, what is up with that? Uh, so this card is going to save you money right off the bat just for staying uh, one night. And you're going to also get platinum status and it'll unlock a lot of other benefits in the IHG program which is that fourth night free when you stay with points. They also have pretty good welcome offers, usually something like 140,000 points. Yeah, their welcome offers can be very wild <laughs> and extremely beneficial because their redemptions are also really great. So you can find lots of great redemptions, not just in the U.S., but especially outside the U.S. You get mm. incredible redemptions. Um, so we love this card because also the other great thing about it is you can find these just about anywhere. IHG properties are almost everywhere that we've ever looked. Very rarely are we like, oh, there's no IHG property. Let's find a different, you know, branded property instead. IHG is fantastic for that. The service has been really great everywhere. Um, plus you get the extra bonuses from, you know, getting the platinum status right out of the gate. You don't have to earn those nights. You only have to earn if you want to get to the highest level to diamond. You only have to earn, uh, you know, that part. So it's actually a really great program and a really great card. And as Rob said, we talk about it all the time because we love it. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I want to mention about having the IHG card, and this also applies to the World of Hyatt card, which we're going to talk about in a minute, is that when you book a hotel with points with these cards, you are not paying fees. You are not paying taxes. You are just surrendering the points and so when you when we go to book like a an ihg or a, a hyatt hotel and it says it's 150 dollars well by the time you've checked out it's 194 dollars because of this tax and this tax and this fee and it's like that really does start to add up but when you are paying with points it's just the points it's not points it's not even like how they do on uh airlines where you give your points you still got to pay fees with that the hotel it's just points so you're not you're saving so much so we always book hotels with points if possible that's why we buy hundreds of thousands of ihg points every year so that we can get the fourth night free with the card and we don't have to pay all those fees whenever we're booking a hotel right and on top of that um these are also if your your dates you know shift a little bit and you need to change your your reservation a little bit you can do that without penalty because they just give you your points right back and then you rebook for what you know for what you want or you know whatever the changes are so that's always really good too because then that way you're not losing out on anything you don't lose any money and you don't lose any points in a process like yeah that. we get when we get the you get those two hundred thousand points for signing up for the card and doing some spend on it we make reservations nine ten eleven months in advance and a lot of times we don't end up going. And then we cancel that one and rebook another one. And you get the points right back and you can do something else. <laughs> but they serve as a way to placehold a hotel because you want to have some type of reservation. Because reservation fees often nowadays are going up very dramatically the closer you get. So you don't want to be doing last minute bookings. You want to have something reserved and then if something better comes along, you can switch it. So uh, let's move on then to once you are, you've kind of retired now, you're traveling the world, you're flying all over, uh, doing all these amazing things. What credit card do you need to have for that? So three more, this will round out to five. Uh, you need to have one that gives you priority pass access. And there's really two that are people use for that. One is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The other is the Amex Platinum. Now we do have both of those cards. Uh, and they are both good, but we do recommend the IMAX Platinum if you're going to just choose one over the other. And the reason simply is you're choosing this card for the status. And the IMAX Platinum is unrivaled in the different statuses it will give you. Uh, we're going to recommend you have the IHG card and the World of Hyatt. So you're going to earn your status on those. But the IMAX Platinum is going to give you status then in Hilton and in Marriott 
and pretty much all of the rental car companies. So with this five credit card stack, you will have status in pretty much every U.S. <laughs> travel company you could want. And honestly, I know people think to themselves, well, it doesn't really matter. It does matter. It makes a huge difference. First of all, let's start with the lounges. Lounges make an enormous difference. Once you're traveling the world full time, um, having that little place of peace and quiet, and just being able to grab something easily to eat without having to stress out, especially outside the U.S. I know in the U.S. a lot of people talk about how crowded the lounges are and such, but overseas, that is not the case. We walk into lounges, plenty of place, places to sit, tons of different foods to eat, and it's absolutely amazing. Plus, you save the money off of buying airport food, um, which is also a great bonus. And usually you can take water with you too. And then talk about, you know, statuses in rental car companies and in the hotels. Again, those all make a difference because you can get upgrades and you can get better service and you can get priority service as well. So those things really, really do make a huge difference in your travel experience. Yeah, the Amex Platinum, so it does come with that priority pass access. That's going to be what you want. We do not want, like to go to an airport without that because it... <laughs> It's just a better experience. In fact, as you go through your travel, uh, your retirement travel, you will find, as we have found, we started out, it was all great. Like, like, we can do anything. We'll go anywhere. We'll fly anywhere. And then it starts to wear you down <laughs> after a while. After a year, after two years, you're like, oh, I don't really want to do that flight. It's too long. Or, you know, you start <laughs> to, like, cut back on the, the, the trouble you have while you're flying. And then eventually we got to the point where, like, Maybe we should just start flying business class because it's going to be easier. And we started to dread the flights because they, they can be so tedious and, and just not a good day. And so now we've moved more towards using lounges, booking business class, and we actually look forward to the flights, look forward to the days because we found that we were dreading moving around a lot. Yes, a lot less stress and it just makes for a much more pleasant travel experience movement experience <laughs> yeah so the fourth card is going to be kind of like the ihg card it's the world of hyatt card it's a hotel card uh low annual fee less than a hundred dollars and you're going to get a free night at a hyatt for having the card pretty much a no-brainer if you're going to be traveling around the world uh you're going to stay more than one night at a hyatt hyatt is the best program so this card will pay for itself you want to pick your cards so that they're ones that are giving you definite benefits every year. And if you're getting a free night in a Hyatt and the annual fee is less than $100, that right there pays for itself. You're also getting more points when you stay at a Hyatt and you're getting elite night credits just out of the gate every year. So that one is great. And then you'll need a card for your kind of other travel because you have a lot of travel expenses and the best uh, way to pay for those is with Chase. The lowest annual fee one you can get for that is the Chase Business Inc. Preferred. It will give you the 3x travel for that. So that is what we have. We use that. Also, that card pretty much comes with the highest Chase welcome offer of any card. It's generally about 100,000 Chase points, which will translate to Hyatt at 100,000 points. So uh, that'll get you about 28 nights for free at a Hyatt if you're in the category one uh, low season hotel. So it is an incredible card to have. That's our five. That's what we think is the perfect ultimate stack. If you're not traveling anytime soon, get the first two, the Amex Gold and the IG Premier, and just start accruing those points. And once you leave, that's when you need the lounge access and the status and all these other programs that's when you can pick up these other three. Hopefully this was very helpful to you guys. If you have not already subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like on this video and don't forget all the links for these cards and other resources are down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.